<laughs> so I just loaded Deer Elk Valley and I heard noises and I've turned around and there is a flying tank car right there, another flying train car right there. So let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Some things have transpired um, in, in the harbor yard. A, th a thing or four or two or six. <laughs> so, uh, if you weren't here for the last Dear Old Valley live stream, yeah, it uh, it was a lot of fun, and we left a bit of a mess. And uh, I haven't looked at how much damage we've caused in dollars yet, but it's uh, it's a bad day. There's just steam engines everywhere. <laughs> oh, lordy. Well, let's go check our bill. Let's see. Fees. Okay, forfeit. You know, that's, that's not too bad. Oh, archive. That is $10 million. 3.6, 2.8, 1.6, 1.4, 1.4, 1 1.3, 1 1.2. That's a lot of, lot of million dollar fees. And then we're into the several hundred thousands. It's fine. It's fine. Somebody, uh, somebody, do the math. This has got—it's got to be like at least twenty-five million dollars. <laughs> but the list keeps going. Yeah, it's. Uh, mm-hmm. So, how does one cause all of this destruction? You may ask. Well, remember when we did that little episode about nuclear bombs in Deer Isle Valley, and I was bummed that they didn't do much. Well, Crypto Neo. Being the wonderful human and Dear Old Valley modder that he is. Look, it's Australian. <laughs> anyway, Crypto Neo, being the wonderful human that he is, has taken the nuclear bombs and uh, made a serious under the hood tuning update here. I think th these have already gone bang. Yeah, these have already gone bang, which is why there's train cars everywhere. He actually updated the physics for the nuclear bombs and as well the explodey boys so that they both have a lot more explosive force. So um, amazing things happen. So I think we're going to try and put together a consist of nuclear bombs and see if we can run them without blowing them up. And then, uh, and then we'll blow them up anyways because that's just... It's just too much fun. I mean, this is like the, the, the silliest thing I've ever seen in this video game. So we're going to get a consist going and go from there. Okay, we've made it to the machine factory in town military base where there is a consist of nuclear boys. They're not ES and D nuclear bombs. They're just regular nuclear bombs, but we'll, we'll just have to suffice with that. But uh, we're going to pull this consist and see wherever it's going to go. So I guess we'll see what the job is here. It needs to go to the Harbor Military Base B7 inbound. That should be a good run. And to accomplish this, we're actually going to be using another new locomotive. This time, again, made by Boss. It is another Yugoslavian Railways locomotive. This time, it's the Class 664. And so it actually looks a little bit more modern with the, the low hood on the one end, and that's a very short nose. It's kind of interesting. But we're going to try this out, and this is made by Boss. And Boss was telling me that there's a couple cool updates in here that he did just for me. So I'm kind of, A, touched, but B, excited to see what it's all about. So let's uh, hop up here and get in. Okay, the door's open nice and easy this time. Very good. Oh, this thing is still dual control stand. They really like their long hood forwards, apparently. Very fun. Okay, get it open here. And this, uh, oh, this is fun. We got the radio modeled and everything. A more detailed control stand. Oh, this is lovely. This looks just like, totally like a real EMD control stand. This looks better than the DE6. Well, that's cool. And we've got a speed gauge there, right where it should be. And then <laughs> all kinds of other fun things, including level. I wonder what that is. Anyway. Oh, and everything else is on the back panel. Oh, and God, and it's duplicated. Well, that's fun. Okay, well, let's go get the engine started. Oh, yes, you sneaky, sneaky good man. <laughs> the engine is in the proper location this time. 
rather than opening up here to start, you open the actual door that you would use to start it until you fall off the locomotive because there's no handrail. It's fine. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's wonderful. He actually made a model of the actual like 645 style EMD engine. That's awesome. And this is actually like where the lathe shaft really is and it runs to the governor. And you can see all the different little inspection ports. There's some sort of wall going on up there, which I don't know if that's, I don't know how many cylinders this engine's supposed to have, but then your lube oil strainer is here and everything and um, oil cooler. This is a lot more accurate than the DE6. That's really cool. I like that. We talked about it kind of extensively and I hope to give him some pictures, but it's really neat that he actually did that. So we've got our lathe shaft and as we push it in, it'll throttle up like the real thing. Um, but where is the start switch? The starter switch, at least on the EMDs that I'm used to, would also be right around here, but maybe it's on the other side or something. Well, we can put the lathe shaft at run eight and run back in and maybe we can start it from the the back panel here. Of course, on most locomotives these days, if they have auto start, you kick the reverser and then it'll start up. Oh, I guess I needed to do some battery stuff first. That's an EFCO, I would assume. Oh, this is confusing now. Oh, here we go. All right, oh, here's our classic DRL Valley, three switches and, and knife switch. There we go. I was not liking the scroll wheel there. Lots of little breakers here. Okay. <laughs> Nothing's labeled. It's fine. How long can it take one man to try and start a locomotive? Yeah, that's green now. Hey, there we go. Well, that's cool. The sound is cool, too. Lots of smoke pouring out of it. Well, that's cool. Nice work by Boss. What a cool locomotive. Although it uh, definitely souped up a little bit. It's getting a lot of oil out the stack there. That's no good. All right, well, I guess we can run from the, the long hood side here. I want our, oh God, does it think it's like a self, -la it's a, like a steam engine brake stand almost where it was springing back. That's probably a Zybok air brake thing going on there. All right, so we're almost ready to go. I want to get our job dealio figured out. Deliver ammunition. Well, that would be what we're doing. It's just very spicy ammunition and I don't want to add those cars. So we'll, uh, we'll get ready for this, but we're going to have to we're going to have to settle up what we can because I do have $320,000. So we can pay some, but we cannot pay much. We paid enough. It's highball. Highball with the explodiest of explodey boys. And I'm not going to try and blow them up on the way, but, you know, I'm also going to try and run fast. So you never know what's going to happen. Oh, that's a... Interesting horn. Weird. All right, now let's get, get up to speed and get underway. This is a weird itty bitty little nose here. Where's the, is there no bathrooms? There's no bathroom. I guess presumably they're not doing as much a long haul as we are in the States. Um, some passenger coaches there, it's fine. <laughs> the track runs through the weeds, so it's hard to tell where we're going. Alright, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, nukes in tow, it's fine. Why do they trust me to run nukes? This is a weird horn. I want. It, why does it change? Maybe Boss can provide some information for us. I know that they said that they uh, recorded some stuff. Wait, what? Oh goodness! 
I forgot that I installed Zybox's Realism mod. Um, so I'm just blowing through switches and grenading switch stands. That's fine. Pay the fee at the career manager. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't even know what all the features in the, the, uh, <laughs> the Realism mod add. But we're, we are killing switches. That's part of it. Anyways, we're wide open. What are these switches? Are these just switches that I can play with for the sake of playing with them? I'm glad that they implemented these. Lights, camera, action. Oh, those are actually lights, it's fine. <laughs> What's he doing? He's playing with lights. Shouldn't he be running the train? Well, you know, it's fine. Do the dinos do anything? You can move the handle. Oh, we've got a 60 coming up now, hang on. Just slam that independent or the automatic around. Oh god, it's got non-self-lapping air for some reason, and I'm not sure why that is. We'll put the dinos on. I don't think that I'm pretty sure that did nothing. Oh. Plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it. It's fine. Oh good god, the brake pipe recharges fast. There is some trickery going on there. Okay, whatever. 60 again, and we're still just going so fast. Can we slow down? I've dumped the air. What is going on? We're just leaving it plugged. Please don't fall off the tracks. I forgot that I installed Zyvox Realism mod during that, uh, the how to do mods video. Side note, if you want to know how to install D-Roll Valley mods, uh, I did a little tutorial last week that's posted on the channel. Okay, well, we'll we gotta... I guess it's still 60 through here for a bit. So we'll just leave that like that. We've not lost any bombs yet, have we? This thing does not seem to break terribly well. I'm putting it in emergency, but the brake cylinder is very slowly applying, and I'm not sure if it's a uh, Zybok issue or if it is a boss issue. All right, I think we're getting close to city southwest. Oh god, there's still locomotives all over the place over by that mess. We'll just not do that. Oh, we've got plenty of nice fast railroad right up until we don't, so I guess we'll keep it going quick. Come on, come on, speed, power, speed. And give it the beans! Beans! Gauges? I'm not sure what these gauges mean. We're apparently not pulling any amps. It's fine. 80, 60, 30, come on. Live for the danger. We're like stuck bang on 80 for some reason. So we'll just keep that going until we see the light of its eyes. And then, uh, and then scream from there. All right, we're gonna dump it. Plugging it. Plugging the independent. Quick app. I don't know why it has steam engine style brakes. Like 6ET or something. Ouch. That was a sharp switch there. Still sharp, still sharp. S quite scared. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. Okay, um, well, well, well. Oh, 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 why did you fall over that way? Um. <laughs> um. Well, uh, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's, that's not the way that the choo-choo is supposed to be. That is sideways. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess we could get another one, but I don't know if I want another one. Oh, I can spawn nuclear bombs? I think, I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go classic. Classic shunter, I think, instead. Because why would you pay to re-rail when you could just delete and spawn something when you've got all these mods going? We got nukes to blow up. Come on, don't you know? I 
Anyways, I do kind of want to uh, <clears throat> troubleshoot what the problem was. Oh my goodness! Troubleshoot what the problem was! Heist, you idiot! I never hooked the, the train air brakes up! <laughs> I just realized that now. Yes, obviously, when we rolled the engine over it, they weren't there, but... Oh my god. That would be why. But why do the brakes feel like they're not doing anything? I don't know, because you didn't cut them in, ding dong. Oh, I broke a misaligned junk. Well, that's fine. Well, we're just adding fees. The fees don't matter anymore. Okay, can we can we get the no? Why 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 does the physics do this to me? Come on. <laughs> get oh, see, I I try and crouch or something to grab the the air hose, and it just does not. There's something weird about the collision on these that is just not happy. And we, we've got places to be. we got to make up for some lost time here. So we're going to put it in eight. Put sand on. Brake pipe. Yes, I know the brake pipe's mad. I'm trying to fix that right now. But there's collision in some places that I don't want there to be collision and not in others. Come on. Give it to me. Hey, there we go. Air cut in. All right, charge the train up now, why don't you? Now that we actually have, <laughs> actually have air set up. This is way too much horn for this thing. This is a glorified tractor on rails. And yes, it's getting hot, but that's okay. We, we have places to be and we're only doing 40. Where's the cab lights? That's right. I wanna be able to see the gauges. I wanna be able to see the pain. Beans! Beans! Give it beans! Come on, little thing! Give me the power! We need more speed! Looks like the brake pipe has finally figured out what it's doing and everything's charged and the locomotive's released, but we're <laughs> we're cooking bacon on the engine and it's just not it's just not happening. Come on, little thing. Is that the bell? Oh my god, an e-bell on this little thing. Very silly. Oh, 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 okay. Well, I should be paying more attention with what I'm doing with the locomotive, apparently. <laughs> I always forget about that surprise 30 through here. They put all this little kink in the railroad for unknown reasons. Well, this thing didn't really have enough power for what we're doing, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't like it anymore, and I think we'll just... Why is the train rolling away? Why are you rolling bombs? Stop rolling away. I think we'll just take, you know, you know, I don't know, three seems like the appropriate amount of shunting locomotives to really just get this finished off, right? But the MU hoses don't start laced up. You gotta get in there and do it yourself. Okay, well, that's fine. Now I have to start all these. Why would you want, come on. Why would you even do this? <laughs> I still can't believe I didn't hook up the brake pipe and was just like, oh yeah, that's fine. You don't need to do that. Come on. Let's bump into these cars here. Dunk. And now get the brake pipe hooked up now. And uh, we'll worry about that later. Okay, close that. Do 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 do. All right, put it in eight. Sand. Figure it out. Come on. <laughs> Wheel slip always. I guess we should cut the air in. Also an important feature if you want it to work, you know. Doot doot. All right. And n locomotive number two. Wait, this is still the... F oh. The engine's not running, but it's all they're all just pulling sand because apparently the sand is MU'd. Interesting. And there we go. There's another one. And doot doot doot. Click. All right. Now. Now we're ready. Come on, train. If three of these things in notch eight is not gonna get this train going fast enough, what's even the point? Shunters, come on! What what are you good for? Are you good for nothing? Or does Zybox realism just make it have no power? This is depressingly slow. Hang on. We'll we'll pick up another one along the way. 
Another two. It's not going fast enough to hurt it, right, when we do this knuckle? Nope, didn't think so. All right. Oh, well that's an interesting vibe. The buffers are not doing the buffer thing. And of course now we're starting to get there, so we'll just turn this on real quick. Do that. We don't need to MU this, right? Do, 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 do. <laughs> How many locomotives does one man need? Many, many locomotives. There we go. Now we should probably attempt to hook up something. Because we have no control from the lead two locomotives at this point to the rest of the train. And now we're getting some speed. All right, we have, we have power, now we have speed. Yes, okay. Um, well, can we, can we get this to, to do a thing at least? Oh my god, it's so loud with the engine sounds right here. There we go. Why did that shut off? You can't MU on the fly? Come on, dear old Valley. <laughs> all right, there we go. Got another one. Now our, our controls are all passed through, so that's good. <laughs> but we but we need the brake pipe. That's actually the more important piece, and we didn't get that at all. Oh my god, it's so loud in here. Just screaming shunters. Why are they going so slow? Come on. A 0% braking force. Engine temp's getting high. I guess we're wheel slipped. But we were in 8. Alright, that looks fine. These two now. Alright, it's I'm doing running speed right now. Come on. Give me... Where's the air hose? Did I grab it? I think I grabbed it. Come on! Lace yourself. Lace yourself. Lace yourselves! Oh, I think I got it. Okay, but I, I need to get the ankle. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Um, um, um. Heist was here in a previous life. And we left boys. Um, 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 uh. Well, we're not going that fast. I guess we'll just shove, shove the boys. Where are we? Are, are we on the main? We're on the... Oh, no, we're not. How did we... Wh when did we diverge? It's fine. We're very confused. Why are these locomotives... Oh, did they all overheat? Oh, they all overheated. Well, that would explain why we're not going that fast. We're dragging all this dead weight. Come on. What, what is the DE2 good for? Nothing. Go! Go, train, go! Oh, now have these ones gone... Oh, my goodness. Now these ones have overheated. Well, this is just a travesty. I want destruction now! I want it now! You know what? We don't need to get to the harbor. We got, we, we're surrounded by boys. It's just, it's, it's just the perfect occasion, okay? We'll just, we'll just, steam engine. This, this is the way to do it. Southern 4501, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Go get them, go get them. Oh, I don't remember what the free cam toggle is, so we'll just have to watch what happens. I think it's player.free cam toggle, but we'll just have to enjoy it. <laughs> oh my, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, um, The explode the the nukes, they're too powerful. They're just they're just too powerful. Sorry, I I couldn't I couldn't handle it anymore. I've been so stressed working on the house and stuff, getting ready to move and sell the place, that um, I craved destruction. And and the nukes, they gave it. They gave me the destruction. Forty five one didn't go very far. That's a bummer. <laughs> oh, well, there's a de two. Where, where did the rest of them go? That is, that's the question. Exploded, exploded boys around here. One DE2 right there. 
another boy right here. Let's see. Play, I think it's player dot free cam toggle. There we go. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Survey the carnage here. <laughs> where did where did the other DE twos go? <laughs> We've got a nuke there, a nuke there. Most of the nukes pretty much stay in place because they're counteracting each other's forces, presumably. Most of the yard ended up over here. <laughs> then I think the high score for distance is this, this boy, this single explodey boy. <laughs> oh, hang on, this one's pretty good too. Oh, goodness. This is just a joy. Crypto Neo did such a wonderful job making these actually do a big kabang. Yeah, what a what a wonderful thing. Where's, oh God, there's stuff at the farm. Oh, there's an upside down train car at the farm. Okay, we gotta we got keep going. We gotta, <laughs> we, we, we need to go over there. We need to inspect the carnage. Some more, some more boys. <laughs> Howdy gentlemen. Okay, well, we didn't level the farm, but presumably the, the farm's equipment was not loaded in um, because we, we threw, some, threw some boys. That's, that's, uh, that's not supposed to be there, ma'am. What, what, you, what you doing with that right there? <laughs> and and the, the other four DE2s were never seen ever again. We might be able to find them with free cam, but uh, I kind of doubt it. But I want one more. I want to do the harbor. The harbor is the best one. All those train cars, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to teleport there and we're going to do it. Just got to the harbor and I spawned in and I heard the derail sound. So I can only assume that shenanigans are happening. Oh God. Yep. The, the, the boys, the boys got the party started for us. <laughs> well, it's already going to be half destroyed. Good job, boys. Good. These are some good boys. Oh, oh my goodness. Not sure what that was. Yep. Yeah. That's a very colorful giant pile of explosion. <laughs> oh, we still got some. So these are the boys. So they, they have um, extra explodey factor to them. Yeah, the, the explosive force has been doubled on the boys and the beans, apparently. So. <laughs> you can really feel the, the concussive wave streaming through the yard. Well, see, now we've got a bunch of train cars on their side, but hopefully, if we fly over to the military base, hopefully we have some more nuki boys. That's not the military base. Oh, it's Christmas. And they even have my logo on them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't mind the upside down steam engine, it's fine. Oh, I've been entombed in train. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's uh, that's too much fun. We're gonna grab a, a steam choo-choo and we're gonna shove these nukes properly into, not that one, that steam choo-choo's still upside down and sad. We're gonna shove the nukes into the uh, into the rest of the yard and see what happens here. So uh, we're gonna grab our comms radio spawner and we're just, you know, steam heavy, just another one right there. Um, although this time I think the the real the real deal is gonna be the ESND skin that someone made for me. We've uh, debuted it on a live stream. <laughs> Get back in the cab before you die. Uh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm guilty of jumping and looking up top too many times. But anyways, hi ball. How's that for a warning whistle? We're gonna level the harbor. We're gonna do it with speed and power and beans. Beans. <laughs> oh, stop interrupting my monologue. I don't care about the junction's broken 
Break all the junctions. Break all the cars. Break all the everything. We're going to blow the harbor up tonight. We're going to set it on fire. It's going to be glorious. And we're doing it because we are the eat shit and die. How's that for a monologue? I didn't even derail during it. We should probably... I'm putting it in quick hat. We are going to slow down because I don't want to derail the nukes preemptively. I want to derail the nukes violently into that pile of stuff that's derailed up ahead. All right, we're lined, we're lined, we're lined. Oh, they're, we're gonna hit, hit the steam engine. Go, go my children! The explodiest of explody boys. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna do it right there. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and then we found more boys. We found more boys to blow up over there. But yeah, the, um, the, the physics, the physics force on this, um, we've, we've parked, we've parked the cars. The, the, the time is frozen. That's as far as they're going to go. I'm, I'm not sure why that's going on. Did that happen to everything? Have I killed Derail Valley? Oh, we blew a hole in the side of the mountain. Oh, no, that's just weird lighting. <laughs> Crypto Neo. You magnificent, magnificent human. That's, these are amazing. Please, uh, please support the D-Roll Valley modding community. They've really helped to make this game just absolutely stellar. I'm now in the turntable pit. That's not where I was. We've killed the 464 once again. I'm sorry, Choo Choo. We derailed Greg's poor class 86. It, it got sheltered from the brunt of the, uh, the fireball. Oh, now I guess I was too far out of range so that they stopped doing the physics. Now we get to watch the rest of it. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I've landed a, uh, an intermodal container on your building. <laughs> oh, lordy. This is too much fun. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Make sure you click the like button. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Click the little bell if you want to know <laughs> when I'm uploading stuff. Uh, shoot, this is great. And of course, ESD train crew, thank you so much. The ESD train crew are the brakemen and the conductors of the ESD who help support the channel. Uh, they support it monetarily and they get some extra fun benefits. They get to see the video. Thumbnails, oh my goodness. Bye bye train car, not sure what that was about. Oh, we're, spra we're growing tank cars out of the ground. It's a garden, it's a garden of tank cars. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, ESD train crew, benefits, it's fun. We, we get have fun things on live streams. They get to see the thumbnails before the videos come out. Um, get a little bit more content from me, extra videos if they're in the conductor tier, and I really appreciate them. And thank you everyone for watching. Uh, this is so much fun to do, and I really appreciate having you guys all around.